Hey guys, all right, so unbelievably, my voice is still weird from being sick week after week after week. So we're still recovering, but I'm just I'm just shocked because it's just, it's, it's unbelievable how long it's taking. It's just weird, anyway, so, all right. So today we've got, after my fifth, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, fifth time trying to film this video, we're gonna talk about this foundation. We're gonna do it today, okay? Today is the day, we're doing it today. So we're gonna try this foundation. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. It's supposed to be transfer and waterproof. I've got it in the shade 30 Fair, which is slightly too light for me, but it is what it is. And it is supposed to be a smooth matte finish with a silky lightweight texture, okay? Now, since this is not a first impression, because I've already done a first impression and have worn it several times, I am going to dispel the rumor of this being a matte foundation, okay? It's not matte. You'll see in just a second. Um, again, a bit too light. Um, so if you're fair, they've got you. But if you are have a deeper skin tone, they do not, in fact, have you. Um, I want to say, I don't know, like, deeper than my skin, of course, because I'm, like, way on the other opposite end of the spectrum. But I've seen a couple, and, like, again, I, I scroll, but I don't watch other people's videos very much. Um, but I've seen a couple of people that have deep skin that are saying that they just don't really have a shade for them. So that's that. But if you're fair, they got you. Now, um, this is just kind of giving you an idea of the coverage and, you know, how it looks on the skin. Um, I will say that I prefer to use a sponge for this foundation. It is very lightweight, like they're saying, and it's thin. Um, but I feel like for my skin, I need a more of a gel type texture than just a thin um like a, just just the the actual formula of it being just thin. Because this is very thin, um, but it's a little bit creamier than it is gel like. Um, so you guys can kind of see the coverage is better than I was expecting. Um, but again, I like a sponge better and I'm going to go dampen this and I'll be right back. All right, so we'll just go ahead and try the sponge. I feel like the um, coverage is about the same when you use a sponge, but it just seems to blend out. But I don't know. There's just something about the sponge side that has just been looking better every time I've tried this foundation, which has been a few times. So I guess, you know, as a first impression, I think it's fine. Like again, like when I was doing my first impression, <laughs> I think it's fine. And I was more impressed with it the first time that I used it. And again, like, don't, I mean, don't misunderstand me. Um, I'm probably just not being clear, but like, I don't think this is a bad foundation at all. Like, I think it's fine and it's decent and it's fine. I'm just not doing backflips over it, okay? But you can tell, like, it looks nice. Like, it's got a very glowy finish. I do like the sponge side better. Brush side is okay. Um, Oh, not too bad today. I was going to say, it's giving me a little bit of a crust up right here. Like, not as bad as it has in the past. I've, again, I've tried this several times. Um, so, the first couple of times, it, it gunked up real bad in my pore area. And especially right here where I've got a little bit of a sort of crustiness. Like, right here I, is always my problem area. This side, not as much, which is weird to me anyway. So, um, I feel like, I feel like it's nice. Like, it's inexpensive. It's a nice foundation. This reminds me or is making me think of like someone who's just starting out with makeup might really like a foundation like this and they may love it for the rest of their life. I mean, it's, it seems like a nice, decent foundation. It's just not so amazing that I'm like, you must run out and buy this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just okay. Like it's, it's nice. Like I feel like you won't hate it if you try this foundation. Um, I do have that eczema right here and it is catching on it a bit. Um, so if you've got dry skin, that's going to be an issue. So if you need to use a primer or whatever, you'll have to look into that. But um, that's something to think about. Otherwise, it really is nice. I'm just not over the moon about it. Um, 
but if you're looking to try a foundation like this or this one in particular I don't think you'll hate it um and it's not that much money uh if you purchase it from Ulta if you live in the United States like you can uh you know return it if you don't end up loving it or decide man I don't really want to spend the three or four or five dollars or whatever it is not that much um on this foundation because I just don't die for it so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and then I we will finish talking about it okay so here we are with the full face on um you know I don't have much to say about this and you know what I just realized I did not powder at all like what is happening to me I'm gonna powder a little bit because that's just what I do um y'all like what in the world I have never forgotten to powder ever but at least you guys are gonna get an idea of what happens when you powder this foundation okay so this foundation was it long lasting is the I guess is the big question I feel like it was but I don't feel like it was more long lasting than any other foundation that I've ever tried again this just seems like a decent solidly decent foundation um so that that's really all I have like I don't think you'll hate it if you try it it seems nice it's inexpensive like it felt fine on my skin didn't break me out didn't have any I didn't have any adverse uh reactions to it so I don't know I feel like it's fine and um I guess nowadays, since there's just so much makeup out there, it just takes a whole lot for me to be like, this is so amazing. So, um, but again, it's okay. So that's really all I've got for you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.